Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. Directed by auditions to Kashimirke and available on BFI Player, The Happiness of the Katakuris is a black comedy about a family who have built their bed and breakfast in the wrong place and now find their guests turning up dead. Afraid that dead guests may torpedo a business already in trouble, the family decide to bury the bodies. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, it's a musical. Without the songs, this still has the potential to be a fun, dark comedy, drawing perhaps on something like Arsenic and Old Lace. But the songs elevate it to something else. Something defiantly original and unashamedly insane. Despite, or perhaps because, the whole thing has a very amateur feel to it. As if the family weren't expecting this to turn into a musical, but since it has, they'll do their best. The fact that it's a musical also opens the door for it to be a fantasy, and Mirke does not hold back, using animation, stylized visuals, and even turning one song into a karaoke number. From a story point of view as well, this is a melting pot. The family all have personal plot lines. And alongside the risk of dead guests being discovered, there's a con man, a murderer on the run, and a volcano. Eh? And this piling on of events for the family to contend with, rather than a smoothly evolving story, will not please everyone. Okay. But for me, this was the point. It's about the family. That's what gives it cohesion. The family that builds a guest house together buries its dead together. And can take on anything together, including a musical, which is why, as I mentioned, I think it's important that this doesn't have La La Land polish. It feels like a family project. Whatever else the happiness of the Katakuris manages or fails to be, it is a joyous experience, gleefully referencing the sound of music, even amongst the corpses. I don't think there's anything else out there like it, and for that reason alone, it's worth seeing. Thanks for watching. What was your take on the happiness of the Katakuris? Bizarrely brilliant or just unfocused and weird? Let us know in the comments below.